Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Tripp, and welcome to The Word According to Me. This one, we have a question of the day. Are honeymoons still a thing nowadays? I mean, obviously, I know they are a thing, you know. You know, people always, when they get married, they go on their honeymoon, right? So I, I know that it's still a thing, and it still happens, but is it something that is really needed, right? Um, there's really, you know, back in the day, honeymoon was, it was supposed to be the first time that you consummate the marriage and things like that. But nowadays, you know, the, the relationship, not the marriage, the relationship is consummated before, you know, obviously before in a lot of occasions, the marriage. So do we really even need honeymoons nowadays? This was just something that just came to my mind, something that I thought about and so I just want to look into it. So we're going to talk a little bit. I went to I look for it, and um, I said, where did the term honeymoon come from? And I went to mentalfloss.com. I found that off of Google, and uh, and uh, th th there's an article about this, so let's, let's just read it. Um, where did the term honeymoon come from? From reality TV shows to the Beach Boys, Croons of Aruba and Jamaica, references to honeymoons are everywhere. But where did it turn term honeymoon first come from. The etymology of the word comes from the Old English honeymoon. Honey, a reference to honey, refers to the indefinite period of tenderness and pleasure experienced by a newlywed couple, and how sweet the marriage is. Moon, meanwhile, refers to the fleeting amount of time that sweetness would last. While honeymoon has a positive connotation today, it was first used as a term to warn newly marrieds about waning love. Which, <clears throat> which is why we always hear hear about a honeymoon period. Usually, we hear it's uh, it's 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 it's. I guess it could be uh, used for as uh, with with um with with marriages, but usually, from at least from my standpoint, I hear it when you talk about sports. You know, when like I'm a Bears fan, and you know the you know the bear you know, all the Bears fans had a honeymoon period. With Mitch and uh, Mad Nagy uh, last year, after they went twelve and four, and now after they, there are some struggles this year, the honeymoon's over, I guess you could say. And so, a lot of doubts on Mitch, a lot of doubts on Nagy. So that's why I kind of kind of hear it in sports nowadays. Let's continue. The first recorded description of the word comes from 1542 when Samuel Johnson wrote, The first month after marriage, where there is nothing but tenderness and pleasure, originally having no reference to the period of a month, but comparing mutual affection of newly married persons to the changing moon, which is no sooner for that it begins to wane. But don't worry, the cynicism doesn't stop there. In, 50, 50, in 1552, excuse me, Arthur Richard Hewlett wrote, honeymoon, a term proverbially applied to such as being a newly married, which will not fall out of the uh, out at the first, but at the one is loveth and the others at the beginning exceedingly, if she speak English, uh, the likelihood of their exceeding love appear to assuage ye, which time the vulgar people call the honeymoon. Uh, let's see. Honeymoon also has origins that date back to the 5th century, when cultures represented calendar time with moon cycles. Uh, back then, a newlywed couple drank mead, the honey, during their first moon of marriage. Mead is a honey-based alcohol drink believed to have had aphrodisiac, uh, 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 yeah, aphrodisiac properties. While most couples today travel on their honeymoon to be alone, it wasn't that always that way. Couples in the 19th century Britain used their honeymoon to go on a bridal tour, where the pair traveled to visit friends and family who could not attend the wedding ceremony. So that's all that uh, that's all I could find about honeymoon. But yeah, I, I think you no. Know, so back to like to the original questions: Are honeymoons like overrated, or are, are honeymoons um, passe? You know, do we really need them nowadays? Do we really, you know, should we really? Um, are they really necessary? And I, I think the question is, is that, you know, like everything, uh, it's becoming a tradition. That after you get married, you go on a honeymoon. 
And I don't think, you know, I think that if you want to maintain that tradition, I think that's fine. Yes, go on your honeymoon. Go out and, uh, and, and be alone for the week or so that you have scheduled for that, you know. Go to a place that maybe you've never been before, or go to a place that you love and you want to you wanted to see again, but you maybe you didn't have time the first time, anything like that. Or even the honeymoon can even you know even have to be like a, a place that you go, the honeymoon can be at home, at that place that you live, especially in these uh, times when you know um, money is tight everywhere. Yeah, so you know there's a thing called staycation. Why wouldn't you like have a staycation honeymoon where you just stay stay to the down where you live, you know? And maybe you you sit if you have kids, you send the kids off to um, grandpa or grandpa's or or whatever, you know. But yeah, I I I I, I would say to answer the uh, the question, are honeymoons necessary these days? I'm gonna say no. I don't think they are necessary. But that doesn't mean that nobody should you know nobody should be. Um, being down for you know taking them or, or doing them or anything like that so I just think this is I, I don't think it's a necessary thing I think it's a kind of a um, treasure type thing so that's that, that would be my opinion on it uh, why it's called the word according to me but uh, what is your opinion post your comments down below tell me what you guys think about this um, you guys think about you know, honeymoons are necessary. Did you go on a honeymoon? Did you, uh, did you have to wait? Do you, do you know? Do you feel honeymoons are not that you would just rather be with money? Because I know a lot. Again, a lot of people, you know, they they they, they want to go. They want to get married at the courthouse and have you know, and, and then have their honeymoon at their apartment or their house, and they would just want to, you know, and, and, and they would just want to have the money that you have in that, you know. You know, pay their bills or something like that, or or do something else with it. You know, they don't want to. You know, like like who needs to go to Hawaii? You know, when you can stay in Chicago, especially at this time of year, right? Good cold weather. Too bad I'm not in Chicago. Um, which by the way, guys, I would probably um, probably give you an update on everything that's going on with my life. Uh, at some point before the year is out. Um, personal things are going on, but I'll let you guys know. Let you guys know everything. Uh, well, not everything, but I'll let you guys know what's going on and what's happening and uh, what I hope to do in the past. But meanwhile, just please just stay here. Follow, keep me here. Follow me. Subscribe to me. Hit the notification bell. And do all of that stuff. So, yeah. Post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Um, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy, AJ Tripp, signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.